Well, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the past couple of Call of Duties have been really bad. I did a Call of Duty tier list on stream not too long ago, and uh, not surprisingly, Call of Duty Vanguard and Call of Duty Cold War were all the way at the bottom. Along with that, Vanguard sold significantly less than Cold War did, and I don't even think Cold War sold that much. Just overall, I think two of the worst Call of Duties to ever be released, Cold War being my personally least favorite Call of Duty ever by far. So I kind of wanted to make a video on what would basically bring Call of Duty back and potentially make it fun again. I made a video like this uh, a while ago titled Wire New FPS Game So Boring and you guys seem to really enjoy that. So I thought I'd do the same for this just on a more specific topic. And once again, I've gone to the best source of solid information and opinions, Twitter. So over on my Twitter account, uh, twitter.com slash Nate Gibson, I said, I'm curious, what do you guys think COD really needs to be fun again? Now, I'm just going to get this out of the way right away because this was by far the most replied topic, and that would be SBMM or EOMM. Now, most of you guys are probably going to know what this is, but if you don't know, SBMM is skill based matchmaking and EOMM, I believe, is experience optimized matchmaking. SBMM is a topic that's come up a lot recently in FPS games like Apex and Call of Duty. Basically, they just take your stats and try to match you up with people with similar stats in the games in public matches. Apparently, this has been in Call of Duty forever. A past Call of Duty developer said that it was even in Black Ops 2, but it's very obvious that it has been toned up significantly. And then EOMM is basically kind of the same thing. They try to match you up with similar level and skilled players. But a lot of the time, like in Cold War, they'll give you three very, very difficult games where you're playing very sweaty players. And then they'll put you into a very newbie lobby after that, where you absolutely shit on everybody to try to get you to keep on playing the game. It's very manipulative. This first became a big topic, I think, in Advanced Warfare. Uh, on PC, it was really hard to tell because there were so few players, but on console, it was way more noticeable. And then when MW 2019 came out, they just went full blatant with it. And it was very obvious. It was a thing in the game now do i think call of duty would be more fun if the sbmm or eomm was turned down yeah i definitely do i don't think they need to completely get rid of it i think if they just toned it down and made it to where i i am completely fine with never going against a new call of duty player ever again i'm totally fine with that honestly i don't want to if somebody can barely shoot back at me in the game it's just not rewarding at all to kill them. In my opinion, the ideal situation would be to have very low SBMM, but still have it there in pubs and then have a really good ranked mode. So if you guys have been watching my streams recently on my Twitch account, I've been playing almost nothing but Apex ranked. And this season, the rank system has been uh, tuned up like crazy and it is way more difficult. And honestly, it is the most fun and addicted I've been to FPS games in a long time. And I think that's another reason I enjoyed Black Ops 2 so much is because the pubs had, well, apparently they did have skill-based matchmaking, but it was very, very minor. And then they had their, what was it called? League play, the competitive ranked mode. That was so fun and I got the highest rank in that I don't know how many seasons and it, it was just a great contrast but if I'm being realistic I don't think this is going to happen at least anytime soon um, there's a reason Call of Duty has been putting SBMM in their games since Advanced Warfare or at least uh, to the level that it is now and the reason that so many other games are following it as well like Apex we can't see the data, but all the developers and, you know, the publisher and everything can. And I'm sure that SBMM and EOMM probably help a lot either with player retention or some other st statistics that make them want to continue putting it in the games. Probably the next biggest reply I saw repeated was different movement. And I almost feel like a lot of this is coming from people who have moved on from Warzone and Call of Duty and are playing other games like Apex, where there is a lot of different movement tech and the game is more focused on 
movement and just more movement skill gap which is honestly pretty funny considering call of duty kind of tried to do this a couple of years ago with all the advanced movement call of duties but that was overwhelmingly hated by the majority of the call of duty community so i almost feel like people mostly just want something that is close to closer to apex where maybe it's not crazy overboard with jetpacks and shit but just the ability to do more stuff with a more boots on the ground kind of combat because i feel the same you know tactical sprinting sliding mechanics have gone really old and boring like at this point i don't even care if call of duty starts copying other games just add some fun movement to the games from other stuff like apex or titanfall something to make the movement new and refreshing going along with that with better movement was of course people saying that they wanted a bigger skill gap this was a pretty common reply and it's also something that i agree with but once again i don't think anything drastic is going to happen like this with call of duty i don't think all of a sudden they're going to completely change their game to be a very skillful fps game because honestly call of duty pubs have never really been that different call of duties were definitely way more skillful than other call of duties but as a whole i feel like call of duty's never really been a super high tier competitive skillful game i do wish they would maybe step back from games like cold war and vanguard that i feel like the skill gap especially warzone as well the skill gap really took a drop and i feel like there was just so much bullshit in the games that could kill you there's just way too much stuff to keep track of and it was just impossible to try to counter ev everything basically so in the replies i saw a lot of people talking about the attachment system and how it's gone out of hand and there's just too much there's too many attachments there's there's too much shit to take into account with all the attachments that it's gotten a little too crazy i can't remember how many there you could have like a stupid amount of attachments in uh vanguard i definitely think that could uh take a step back because yeah sometimes uh more is not always better also another thing that i will touch on briefly that i saw quite a bit was time to kill or ttk most people seem to want a slower time to kill to come back compared to games like vanguard especially because vanguard's time to kill was just insanely fast and basically you had no time to react if somebody caught you off guard i think it'd be nice to have the time to kill increase especially from games like vanguard i don't think it needs to go all the way back to black ops 4 it is just another kind of pub call of duty game it doesn't need to have an insanely high time to kill like apex but it would be nice to have more outplay potential and not to just get absolutely beamed by some guy sitting in a window with absolutely no recoil mounted up or some shit i think this kind of goes along with the whole increased skill gap that people have been asking for as well because in a game like call of duty having that longer time to kill does increase the skill gap because it requires more consistent aiming in gunfights but i don't know it doesn't really bother me that much as long as it's not as fast as uh, vanguard and honestly slower than probably mw 2019 as well I think it'll be fine like if we went back to like time to kill closer to uh like black ops 3 i think that would be pretty good and probably the last big thing i saw repeated a lot in this twitter thread was of course map design because uh, the next call of duty is being made by the developers who made mw 2019 which uh if you remember had some of the worst 6v6 maps that we've se seen in call of duty because I think for the most part they were designed for very very passive play just camping basically and th this is what's kind of hard for me because if i'm being completely honest i think old 6v6 three lane call of duty maps are really boring now uh, i just don't have fun at all with them anymore but at the same time the 6v6 and like 10v10 maps that mw 2019 had also still sucked uh there's just too many sight lines too many places to get shot from it was way too difficult to control a certain area of the map they just weren't good so that's kind of where i'm like i don't i'm actually not really sure personally what they should do there for the most part i do think it would probably be better for them to go back to regular 3v or sorry three lane maps because that seems to be what people enjoy more but i feel like this is something that 
you can't change all that much while still being call of duty and having their 6v6 or even like 10v10 modes i feel like you can't change the maps all that drastically whereas what i'm looking forward to the most for the next call of duty is of course ground war where you can change the maps a lot because they're on a much much larger scale i only saw like one or two people mention this in the replies in the background of this video you're actually watching ground war gameplay from uh, mw 2019 and if you watch my videos back then you'll probably know that's like the only thing that i played because it was so much fun it's basically just battlefield but with call of duty movement and gunplay and it for the most part is really good they messed up a few things in ground war and so that's what i'm hoping that in the next call of duty they bring it back and potentially fix some of those things i don't know i i, I don't think ground war 2019 mw 2019 was all that popular so i'm really worried that they will um sadly not bring it back but that is for sure what made call of duty fun for me again because uh up until mw 2019 i think the last call of duty i had fun with was really bo3 and all the rest after that were pretty boring for me if i'm being honest but then ground war came out and it is actually some of the most fun i've ever had playing call of duty since like black ops 2. so that's definitely my personal opinion because i uh yeah, I don't see very many people really ever bringing up ground ground war from MW 2019. Yeah, overall, I think we had some pretty decent opinions. Um, I'd be really interested to see what you guys say in the comments on YouTube. Obviously, we can get a lot more uh, replies on here. I'd be really curious to see what you guys say because I'm not even joking. Probably like 85% of the replies on Twitter were just SBMM. So yeah, a lot of people ask me. I am actually pretty excited for the next Call of Duty just because uh, it is being made by the people that made Ground War and I had a blast with it. If Ground War is not in it, I'm going to be a lot less excited. But if it isn't, I will actually this will be like one of the first Call of Duties that I am genuinely really excited for. So yeah, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Go ahead and follow any of the socials that I uh, shouted out in this. My Twitter, Nate Gibson, twitch.tv slash Nate Gibson. Go ahead and follow all those. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. See you later.